Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a casual look at Bomberman Act Zero for the Xbox 360. I'm just here at the dashboard right now, the new dashboard, and uh, let's go ahead and just get right into the game. Now, this is a Bomberman game, um, but it's not quite the Bomberman that you, <laughs> you know and love from uh, the late 80s and early 90s, or even all the 90s. There were a lot of great Bomberman games in that time period. There's even a couple good ones, uh, you know, before this one in the early 2000s. But uh, for the most part, this is not a Bomberman game you're probably going to want to rush out and buy. It's just like I said, it's not the Bomberman you know and love from a long time ago. It still is Bomberman in, in form. The gameplay is pretty similar to the old classic Bomberman games. But um, it, the, the graphical style has been completely changed. It's got a far more mature, if that's what you want to call it, graphical style. And uh, some people didn't like this when it came out. Me, I don't mind it so much. But uh, there are a couple things that really kill this game. Um, I'll get into those in just a few minutes. But here's the intro. It's kind of cool. It's kind of reminiscent uh, of Atomic Bomberman on the PC. The intro from that game, <laughs> if I remember correctly, and the intro to that was kind of similar. Although the Atomic Bomberman intro was far more comedic. And um, it still had some of the old sort of styled Bomberman characters. This one does not. This one, the visuals are completely different. Uh, like I said, it's not your old cutesy Bomberman anymore. I don't mind the visuals so much. Um, and actually, in, to some degree, I think they look uh, appropriate for, well, they look fine. Just, it's it's weird playing a Bomberman game with visuals like this. I guess that's how I should put it. I like the visuals, but it's weird playing Bomberman in this sort of visual style. But first, you've got a, a couple of different options here. You've got the cage where you can adjust character settings and um, yeah, just that's there's not much to that. You can change like the color of your character and crap like that. Nothing too crazy. You got world rankings and uh, anyone that plays this game is probably never going to top the world rankings uh, because nobody really plays this game at all nobody barely anybody played this game when it came out which is probably a testament to how well it sold and nobody plays it these days as far as i can tell i've never been able to find a multiplayer game on this so if you buy this game with the intent to play it in multiplayer buy two copies give one to a friend have a friend buy a copy i don't know do something have someone to play this with otherwise you're going to want to probably break this disc in half it's just not <sighs> Let me explain. Okay, you've got uh, single battle here, and you've got single batter battle standard batter. I'm going dyslexic again. <laughs> the standard single battle is the classic Bomberman, where one hit you're dead. One hit you're dead. That's basically it. Uh, single battle FPB is the one I probably recommend you play because it actually has a life meter. It takes a couple hits for you to go down. Um, I believe in both single player modes, you have to go through 99 stages, or it's some crazy amount of stages like that. And the catch is that you have to do it without continuing. You get no continues in this game, as far as I remember. You gotta go through the entire game without continuing. So 99 stages without continuing. So you might get to stage 20 or something like I did, get a game over, and you're all the way back to square one. Right. Yeah, not not very good design at all, uh, at all. It's that's the thing that really kills this game. You know, I Bomberman is solely a multiplayer game, primarily, anyways. I actually like playing Bomberman in single player. I mean, I like single player games, uh, and I've always liked playing Bomberman in single player, especially the Super Nintendo ones where it was just very arcadey, arcadey style visuals. Uh, you know, every time you you get to a huge boss and you toss out a ton of bombs, they blink. It was very arcade style. It was it was it was cool. I liked it. Um, this eh, it's a little drab looking. It's a little you know, but whatever. It's still Bomberman. It's still single player. I don't mind it uh, if the game wasn't broken. I wouldn't mind it if the game wasn't broken. And, you know, like I said, you got to get basically through the whole game without dying, without continuing. Oh, I don't know if it's without dying, but I know you don't get continues. So, um, actually, I don't even think you get lives in this. Let's go ahead and test that theory. So, let's go ahead and just kill myself. You notice there's a life bar at the uh, bottom left hand corner of the screen so that's why I highly recommend playing on this mode because you get at least 
a chance, sort of. Um, but uh, you, are you are dead. Literally, you're not coming back at all. Nope. Sorry. Probably back to the title screen. Yep. <laughs> so you could get to level 50, be halfway through the game, die, and you'll be tossed all the way back to the title screen. Awesome. So, I mean, <laughs> this isn't the game that I thought would be exciting to show you guys, but I, I did want to show it to you guys. I did want to talk to you about it for a little bit. Uh, it's it's not an inexpensive game. I think some game stops out there might even still have brand new copies I recall getting a copy last year for about five bucks there brand new Which is a testament to just probably how poorly this game sold they those copies were probably still years old and um, You know you can get used copies now at GameStop for like three bucks or four bucks or something like that a little bit cheaper and um, It's just yeah, if, if you buy this game, um, I, I highly recommend having a friend to play this with. Keep it as a multiplayer Bomberman, as Bomberman is, has been popular as. You know, it's been primarily a multiplayer game for people over the years. Um, don't buy it expecting a remotely enjoyable single player experience because it's going to be frustrating, period. It's going to be absurdly frustrating. This game is just... To have to go through 99 stages alone and do it without dying, basically, is just absurd. It's just, whoever thought that out basically didn't know thinking. They should probably be slapped. And they should probably be, be fined for it, even though it's all these years later. They should still be fined. Okay, that's kind of stupid, but okay. <laughs> Point is, if you're going to buy this game... Buy it to play it with a friend, you know, like I said, have a friend buy a copy with you, uh, play it with them on Xbox Live, uh, play it uh, locally, I don't even know if you can play it locally, honestly, you might only be able to play it on Xbox Live, just uh, don't buy it for the single player, um, that's, that's my advice to you. But uh, one last thing before I go is this is the sort of tr traditional Bomberman mode, uh, which is kind of cool, I like how may give you the options to have this sort of third person uh, behind the back view but they also give you the classic view as well which is which is nice so um, the game has you know your traditional power-ups for the most part um, it has you know, like your flame extenders things like that extra bombs you can get I think it even has uh, the remote bombs so you can trigger them on command uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to demonstrate any of that for you but uh, but it does have a few power-ups like that. I'm not sure if it has, like, the speed shoes and things like that. Actually, it does. It has the speed up. <laughs> That's the green power-up. But uh, I'm not sure if it has, uh, like, the kicks and things like that either. I haven't really gotten too far into this game. Um, last time I played, tried to play it seriously was a good little while ago. Let's just... No, oh, he's stuck. Oh, I killed myself first. That's great. Um... So, I'm not sure all the power-ups from the classic Bomberman are here, but, you know, as a multiplayer game, the game could still be fun. I believe you could probably still do four-player multiplayer online. Again, I'm not sure if you could do it split-screen. You know, let's go back to the title screen and figure out if we can do split-screen multiplayer. I'm actually really curious now. It's something I never looked into because I've never had friends to play this game with. Every time I've had this game, I've had to basically play it by myself, which is why I've never really given this a whole lot of time. I did single-player. About a year ago, I really tried going through the single player. I was like, I'm going to do this. And the farthest I could get was like stage 15 or 20 or something like that. And I was just like, I've had enough. I'm done. So, um, oh, great. I can't even exit out. So, let me go ahead and just kill myself. So, classic Bomberman mode or standard style basically is also um, one hit kills. So, one hit, you're basically dead. I think you can get some kind of special power-up shields where it'll give you an extra hit. But um, for the most part, you know, it's one hit kill on the standard mode. So, which is why I highly recommend playing the uh, sort of traditional mode. Not traditional mode, what am I saying? The, um, the FPB battle. I don't even know why they call it that. But uh, hey, what do you know? You can't even do local multiplayer. That's just phenomenal. That is, that is great. Great thinking, guys. Ugh. Man. So. <sighs> hmm. 
No rooms are available for matchmaking. Would you like to create a new room? Sure. And nobody's going to join. So this is where I, I, I drop the controller and say thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't recommend you go out and just rush out to buy this game. But if you really want to play this game, how it was probably meant to be played, multiplayer, uh, have a couple friends buy it. Um, I know it might be kind of hard to convince them to buy this game, but it's so cheap. If you can get four friends to buy this game, you can probably do four-player multiplayer online. Uh, it'll probably be worth it at that point. Because it is still Bomberman. Bomberman's, it's fun. The graphics are kind of drab, um, you know, for a Bomberman game. But the multiplayer is there. The gameplay is there. The gameplay actually feels good. It, it controls well. It plays well. So no complaints there. But uh, it's just one of those things that you're going to want to have friends to play with. And I've said that like five times already this video, but that's, that's I guess, the point I'm trying to get across. And it's not very difficult to find. There's usually a copy at any GameStop I go to. Um, it's easy to find online. It's really cheap. You might even be able to still find brand new copies of this game. So, yeah. With that, guys, I'm out. So, until next time, uh, take care.